What's up guys, so we're here with about three weeks to the first time attack event for my car and myself of course and we went out last week to Mossport DDT, had a blast on the track, learning it for the first time. There was a lot of traffic on the track but uh, we made the most of it, able to get some nice pictures going and you guys saw the short video I did before about the car, showing the car around, everything. And I'm just going to talk about the setup for the car this year and what we were actually able to accomplish over the winter. And everyone knows that my front camber, you know, it's been my kind of excuse for why I can't do the best I can on the track. And now with the front camber kit grinded off, we were able to get negative 3.9 on one side and negative 3.6 on the other. And that's just because obviously if you're grinding something off, it's not going to give you the best result. And that's the minimum camber that my front wheel allow right now with the height change to the weight distribution. Uh, 3.9 on the right and 3.6 on the left. Uh, the rear are both negative 2.5. We have uh, no issue. We can actually have go a lot more with the SPC camera kit. But uh, as far as we're concerned right now, uh, there's no need to. And yeah, uh, the car overall weighs uh, 2,950 pounds. Uh, it's still quite heavy, you know, I, I consider that 3,000 pound car and it would be better to get more close to 25, 2,600 pounds but that would go, you know, for a feature or even if I decide to go up a class to switch out my OEM glass but uh, yeah, as for right now, I think where we're sitting at 2,900 pounds uh, we should be competitive this year with the camera kit all sorted out and um, yeah Got some, uh, I got some good tips lately on what I'm going to do with the rear coming around. Uh, we might go full soft on the rear, go a little bit higher tire pressure, or if we need to, go negative three camera on the back. But we're going to play with that at the track at CSCS, the first event, May 26th. And yeah, so for now, uh, prepping the car and having everything ready. And yeah. So, so yeah, so for uh, many people that want to know what the front tire setup is with the wide fender, I'm running a 265-35-18 tire on a 18 by 10 and a half rim with the offset at 15. Uh, I think if you want to go any more than that on the offset, you'd still be okay. Um, you know, the fender will allow it. This is the fender I got from Russia. Uh, if you want to go wider rim, you'd have trouble with the strut because, sorry not the strut, you'd have uh, trouble with the spindle. Uh, the rim will hit the spindle unless you go really aggressive and if they sold then you might want to go camber and so on, but yeah. The rear is the 17 by 9 uh, plus 35 with a 225 45 17. We decided to uh, step down and go back to the lighter tire and hopefully it's going to help us out on the lap times. Uh, if not, we can always switch back up to the 255, but I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. I've also got a fresh set of tires that hopefully if my time at Moss Sport is competitive, uh, we can probably put on the better tires for the finals or for the last qualifying to see if we can actually achieve a uh, faster lap time with brand new tires. Uh, it'll be a good test to see the difference of time between used tires and the new tires. And yeah, other than that, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going to be happening. And of course, you can always follow me on Instagram uh, in the link below to uh, see what's actually going on with the car day to day. Thanks.